777 hip thrusts are terrible. Like, literally terrible. You do seven regular banded hip thrusts, then you'll do seven hold up at the top, abductions, then you will do seven hip thrusts with abductions. I'm literally dying. My glutes are on freaking fire. Also, we did start off today's workout with barbell back squats, but I forgot to record on this camera. Oh my god, why am I dying so much? She was like, um, because we squatted and did hip thrusts. Yeah, thank you. And your booty games will thank me for it. You're welcome. Boo. Look at the Whitney fit. Look at it. Mm. She didn't have to go this hard with the brown, but she did. But she did. We love it. We're like really feeling our like boring colors today. Like she's in a brown, I'm in a black. Like, did you guys never? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am taking y'all through a little day in the life vlog. I figured I would just pick up the camera and start recording today. So I went to the gym a little bit ago. You guys saw me crush a leg day. It was so freaking hard. My legs were shaking by the end of it. I don't know why Marissa, who programs on Sundays, thought it was a good idea to squat and hip thrust today. I just, I don't know her, couldn't relate to her. Don't, don't have any idea why I decided to do that. But it did honestly feel really good because I haven't done two hip thrusts in a week in a very long time and honestly although my glutes low-key hate me for it it did feel really good to do it so it was a really really good workout and I did film the entire thing for Instagram as well so that is going to be posted by the time this video goes live so if you prefer those little like swipey versions of workouts that you can follow along with definitely go head over there and check it out but guys big things are happening today today I we are currently on the way to go get me a new car. If you guys know, you know. This is a big forking deal. I am currently driving a 1994 Chevy Cavalier. Homegirl is four years older than I am. She has roll down windows. She has no air conditioning. We're really just, we've been really roughing it. I don't know how much gas is in that car because the tank doesn't work so like it might be full it might be empty I don't know so this is a big deal so I we're currently on our way to go get me a new car we went to go check it out earlier this week I really really liked it so we decided to just kind of do it and grab it it's a 2017 Jeep Cherokee so I'll show you guys more about that but I figured I'd take you guys along the day so off to get our new car okay. hey guys so I got my car you guys want to see come on come on come on <laughs> I'll show you so here she is <laughs> I mean, I don't mean to be dramatic, but she's cool, right? She's cool. Come on. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. The weather's warm. Look at how beautiful she is, guys. So we are currently working with a 2017 Jeep Cherokee. Look at how great she is. She has, guys, show them up. Show them up. Show them up. Show them that sunroof. 
Oh, baby. It's a huge deal. When I went to go pick, get, pick out the car, I went earlier this week to pick out the car, and I drove her, and Timmy's cousin, she's the one who sold it to us, <laughs> was like, um, it doesn't have Apple CarPlay. Like, does that matter? Are you okay with it? And I was like, sister, currently I'm driving a car that has roll down windows, <laughs> two doors, no air conditioning, and I can't tell how much gas is in it. So no, I'm gonna say the Apple CarPlay is not gonna be make or break for me today. But guys, literally I am so freaking excited. It's a 2017 Jeep Cherokee. See these keys? Keys to my car. It's not a big deal, but it's a little bit of a big deal. I had to show you guys, I had to show you guys. All right, enough being dramatic about the car. Don't stare. That was literally to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm so excited, guys. I literally, this is the first like big girl purchase that I have had. And honestly, I'm just so excited about it. Obviously, Timmy and I moved out. That was amazing, exciting, a big, huge like purchase thing that we did. But this is the first thing I've done like by myself, for myself. I've literally been driving a 1994 car, four years older than me, since I've been able to drive. So having something that like is reliable. Guys, like on the way back from the dealership, I like had my sunroof open and I also had the windows open and I smelled oil. And for the first time in six years, I didn't think it was coming from my car. <laughs> Boom, that's the tea, but I'm really excited. All right, so Timmy and Ryan, as you saw, just scurry their way off. We do get a Chipotle for dinner. I know, what's a vlog without Chipotle? I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. So we're gonna head back inside, hang out a little bit, relax there, and then I'll show you guys Chipotle when it gets here. Okay, so remember like an hour ago when I told you like, oh wow, Timmy and Ryan just left to go get a spoon? Well, they're still not back yet. It's been like an hour. Apparently the Chipotle they went to was so freaking busy. So they are on their way back now. And then we are going to eat that. We are currently watching The Circle. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me. And honestly, I've never seen it before. And it seems like a pretty good show. So I don't know. We're watching the first episode of season one. So we'll see how it goes. Alright y'all, we are back at our apartment for the night. We ate our Chipotle, Timmy and Ryan got back. Luckily the wait wasn't too much longer after I last chatted with you guys. We and ate our Chipotle, we started watching some Marvel movie for a little bit, but y'all already you know I was getting a little sleepy on the couch. So we drove back home and we are just going to relax and chill here for the rest of the night. So I am going to check back in with you guys tomorrow morning when I head to the gym for our pull day. So have a good night y'all, see you in the morning. Good morning besties. Happy Saturday. A little OOTD before our pull day today. We have a full Whitney fit going on. We have the sports bra in that like unbleached color. It's like a soft off white color and then a peony pink, the mesh short. So there's mesh right here and mesh right here. They are definitely shorter than the shorts that I had on yesterday. Those black shorts were the biker shorts or her cycling shorts and they definitely come much further down, but like, like wouldn't pass the school test for these bad boys, but they still are nice and long. We just, we just love what she does to the peach. Every, all of Whitney's stuff makes the booty look so good because it's got that elastic like strip that goes up the middle of the bum. So it just holds your butt cheeks right where they gotta be. So I am going to make my pre-workout little concoction and then we're going to head to the gym for our pull day. All right, pre-workout concoction all made. I got the rainbow candy pre-workout from Alani New and then the black cherry pump. Gonna sip on this bad boy all up, mix it all together, drink her up, and then we're going to head to the gym. Guys, I just started my car from inside the apartment. Like, am I rich? Is this what rich people feel like? I am not rich, but considering before, I used to have to walk out to my car, put the key into my car to unlock the door, and even then sometimes, it would give me a hard time opening. I'm living a life of a luxury, okay? Let me do my thing. Are we wearing Whitney again for day two? I mean, kind of, but guys, look at these forking colors. Like, Catherine is in the pollen yellow. Dang. Unbleached, peony pink, pull day BB. Let's get my arms, guys. <laughs> Feels so freaking juicy right now. Like my shoulders, my back, dead. Also, can we take a moment? <laughs> uh, sure. It's not the fucking time. 
sorry for my language. Um, guys, it's the first vlog in the new car. Guys, just don't you love that like my headliner is like brrrr in the background of all these videos? I mean, and I can put my arm so much further out before I was like, hello, welcome back to my channel. Because that's all I had room for now. I'm like, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up. We just got done our back and biceps workout. We started with conventional deadlifts. It was such a good freaking workout. I actually loved it. We did film it for Instagram, so that will be posted on there. Most likely by the time this video gets posted, so just check me out in my Whitney Fit to be able to find the post. I didn't record it for YouTube, but you guys will be able to follow along that way if you decided you wanted to do that. But we're gonna head back to my parents' house now. Gonna get some grub before we get our nails did. Oh, baby. She's a thick one today peanut butter and banana smoothie we got ham cheese fried eggs sweet everything bagel and we have Catherine who also is photographing her meal the phone always eats first in this household all right y'all we are back from nails let me show you what me and Catherine decided on there was like this is like a combination of two different designs one of them had this design but it was a kind of like a light pinkish nude and then the other one that was tied with it had a bunch of different colored nudes on all different fingers so since they were tied i kind of decided to just like combine the two go like a brownish nude with the lines and honestly i love it Catherine, look at Catherine's nails like so cute i said she looks like all the different chocolates she looks like dark milk and light chocolate uh freaking adorable Catherine and i just got back we are going to get ready. We're going to take some pics in our Whitney Fitz and then we are going to go about our day. There's just like simply no music playing. It's important for everyone watching to know that. <laughs> Behind the scenes of a photo shoot. I don't mean to be dramatic, but that was just the best photo shoot we have ever been a part of in our entire life. I mean, like, we're not professional and we don't do this oh. near... Catherine's actually a professional <laughs> photographer. I, on the other hand, not good at modeling nor taking photos. It's really bad. But 10 out of 10, that was so freaking good. I am so happy with how all of those pictures turned out. Y'all already know some are going to be on the Instagram. Y'all already know some are going to be this... Whatchamacallit? Thumbnail. Y'all okay. already... <laughs> Y'all already know this is gonna be our thumbnail. Y'all already know. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm just so hyped. I'm just so excited. There's also these pieces. Mmm, 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 mmm. Chick, 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 chick. There it is. Okay, so today is my sister and my brother in law's one year wedding anniversary. So we are all heading down there in a bit for a little like party slash dinner celebration for them. So we are currently getting ready. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm literally in like this plain white crop top from Forever 21 and then just like literally black leggings. I think they're actually also from Forever 21 that I got forever ago, but I am going to straighten my hair because I do have a bridal shower tomorrow. So I figured I'm gonna have to look nice anyway for that. So I might as well kind of just like start the process going and straighten my hair so I don't have to do it tomorrow so let's do it look at the difference straight and then whatever the fork this is adorable guys we also literally think i might have lost my nail in the process of these five minutes from getting back from taking all those pictures to showering to picking out my outfit like literally 
Look, I don't even know if you can see it. She's got a band-aid on her now. I was like picking out my outfit and going into my drawer and I don't know what even happened. Like I literally don't know. It felt like my drawer like fell and it caught my nail. And now my entire nail was just gushing blood. And it's like wiggly, but I don't know what's wiggly. Like I don't know if it's the acrylic on top of my nail or my actual nail, which if that's the case would be repulsive. So I'm going to keep just a band-aid on it, I guess, for now, and then we'll kind of reevaluate later. More just because it was actually bleeding like fairly bad. So the band-aid will help with that. And then hopefully when I take it off, worst case scenario, like the acrylic falls off, not a big deal. I'll go back and get that replaced. I don't care about that. I just really hope I didn't lose my whole entire nail because do you know how long it would take to grow an entire nail back? Because I don't, I'd imagine a very long time now. man easy peasy lemon squeezy just like that put some chopstick on I'm ready just some quick CC cream and some mascara hair straightened all right y'all look a little completed OOTD literally just leggings cute little crop top from forever 21 and then my face all did up. All right, y'all, I am going to end the video off here. We're just gonna be hanging out here for a little bit longer. Then we are going around grabbing a few things for the party later. And then we are heading over to my sister's house. So I'm not gonna bring my camera and film there. So I'm going to wrap it up. If you guys like this video, you like this vlog, you like hanging with me, like the workout. Please make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Y'all already know it supports my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you never miss another video that I post. And if you subscribe, rumor has it, it'll make my finger feel better. I don't know. I don't make the rules. If you haven't already, make sure that you follow me on my Instagram so you can see all my fitness, health, and lifestyle content that I post on there. And I will catch you guys here next time.